with New York town. This country and bar is a singing, singing when the sun goes down. He had all the answers about the way things ought to be. Some folks came to listen, some folks couldn't see that there's pain in his fingers. For Santa Happy Claus. Easter. Happy Easter. That's what you <laughs> Happy Easter, all you bunnies out there. there. You go. <laughs> wow. We gotta say hi to Benzie. Hi, Benzie. Pam, wherever she went. I she Pam? fell off the face of the earth. I think the earth's flat because she walked off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> Bullville. Bullville. Gotta say hi to Bullville. And oh. everybody down in Manhattan. We love you down in Manhattan. Hi, Manhattan. In, uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. We love you all over down that way. And uh, <laughs> this is Keeping Country Strong. We'll, we're going to be celebrating 27 years wow. on TV. And we just got an award from New York State Assembly for doing yes, community service with our show. And we'll be showing that on here again soon. Excellent. So everybody out there can see it. And this is Donna Seacamp. Hello, everyone. This is my cohort. <laughs> and uh, I told her it would be a week or two. And my sidekicks all seem to leave on me i don't know where they went well that's all right i'm here but uh, so. this year is going to be loaded with stuff for all the bands the that's orange right. county fair we're going to be over here and they have uh, music in the park in madam morris mm -hmm. uh, on uh, tuesday nights that's in gonna July be great. And August. that's going to be wonderful and uh, it's like seven to eight or nine whatever it is mm -hmm. you come on over sit down relax Bring your lawn chairs, and uh, we're trying to get Madam Morris people coming over there. And we'll be at the food bank, and I'm going to yes. say that's September 16th. Is that the date? I guess she's looking it up. Well, we know it's in September. In, in Port Jervis <laughs> at uh, Riverside Park. Right. And we are going to be playing the concert series in Riverside Park, and we'll get you all them dates and mm -hmm. all the other places where we're, we're going to be playing. We're going to be really playing a lot this year with the Carl Richards Band. And uh, hopefully our fiddle player, Lynn Reno, will be back. I mean, yeah, 16. yep, 16. 16. It is I September heard that 16th. Coming over the hill. That's the food drive. Yeah. And Madam Morris. Oh, no, poor Jervis. Poor Jervis. And Lots anything. Of band. Yeah, and anything that you can bring. It doesn't have to be a lot. You know, you bring one or two cans of food, and you know what? That adds up. And we got shop right. We have Thanks to you right. and your husband. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. Yeah, they're donating again. And, that's um, great. And the Onion Man from over in Pine Island, he'll be on. Right, that's that's true, yes. Not yeah. as many onions, because we had so many onions. We didn't know what... I was eating them raw. They were so good, but... Uh, yeah, they're good. So a lot of people weren't hanging around. That's why nobody came back. How many onions did you eat? Well, there I wasn't cutting go. cheese. And onions... Are... <laughs> you wonder why you're losing co-hosts. Now you know. <laughs> But we got a new show we're working on, and we want to get a bunch of it going soon. It's called Weirdville, USA. And, and when that comes out, you're going to see something crazy because uh, we got a lot of people working on that. Uh, Looney Balloonie will be there. Mr. Yes. Phil, you'll be there. I'll be there. And uh, it's a, gonna be, just it's a gonna bunch be a of people. Great... The, the Smith family, they're elderly people. Yes. And uh, Mr. Phil will be getting hit with a pie right in his face. <laughs> so you're going to have to see that show's coming on. And, oh, man. And uh, Blueberry Fest, that'll be up in August out in Ellenville, New York. And there's a big wrestling match going to be over in Ellenville, the cage match oh. with WCPW, uh, good friends of ours. And we this station, this show sponsors them, and we're on all their flyers. And we'll be at that. That's in Ellenville, too, at Norbury Hall. And it's a great time, and I'll send you the date on that, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, the other thing that you have to mention is this, uh, the April 8th, we're having our telethon. Yep, that's right. You can tell them yes, about it. so please call 
um, donate again doesn't matter if it's a dollar two dollars whatever you can do is appreciated or you can send a, a check to uh, P.O. Box 1, 321 Port Jervis, New York and I think it's 12776 one <laughs> one two seven seven one yeah okay and uh, okay. any donation we are not for profit so you can right. get a receipt for anything you'd like to donate and uh, right it uh, helps it really does help um to be able to buy new equipment or equipment is well we had a couple th newer cameras and somebody stole them right from the studio and hopefully Port Jervis police will find this guy or girl or what whatever happened? took it. I didn't, I was away when this. Well, where was he, baby? What happened? Somebody stole our three cameras. We don't know who or how or why, but they're gone. And uh, we got a lot of people in Middletown over that way searching for stuff. And uh, they're really nice cameras wow. and uh, what was the door broken open? No, it's somebody with a key, so we know there it's we somebody that's a member here or there something. There you go. Uh, so, wow. The door, and he, it was in the tech room. Wow. Uh, the door was jimmied open, and they took the cameras. And they took one of the hot wires from one of the other cameras that's similar to the other big one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I got a couple of bands out that's there who might do a, a fundraiser for the station also. That would be to get at least another camera or something. Wow. Only this time it's going to be different. Right. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of a lot of things going on though, and good down Roy's Corners, who sponsors this crazy show, <laughs> sent me up some great, great Texas wieners. Wieners, oh my god! And I love his Texas wieners and his clam chowder, but he's got a. A book. It's like that oh. thick for menu. I saw the new menu. It's amazing. I can't yes. believe they cook yeah. all that stuff. But yeah. he is also looking for helpers or workers, yeah. uh, uh, waitresses or cooks. You have to stop the Roy's. It's uh, right on East Main Street, two East Main Street, Port Jervis, and see Roy. They'll take your information, check you out. You yeah. might be able to get a job, somebody yeah, out there, but right now, yeah. I'm going to have the yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Roy, thank you again. He's always so good to us. And um, if you haven't had a chance to get to his um, restaurant. Now, we got the big hot dog for you. Oh. Roy, Roy sent this up. He said, <laughs> he make sure you give over. it to Donna. All right. All right. Thank you, Roy. <laughs> Oh, it's boy. amazing he don't have them that big because everything he makes is it, huge. This is true, yeah, yeah. You're right. I'm surprised he doesn't. Yeah. You can't eat that. No, I couldn't. <laughs> but uh, we but. we brings hot dogs down. I was down there today and had the the uh, chicken, deep fried chicken. And oh. his chicken is great. Um, love his chicken. His meatloaf is great too. Everything I've had was really good. So so stop in to Roy's. He's our sponsor for keeping country strong this year. And he's got a great business going down there, yeah. and, and they're really uh, community-oriented. Yes, they are. And uh, that's what I like, and uh, we support him, too. Right. I mean, so. and, and if you're not going there for the food, then maybe you're going there for a job. So it's a win-win. Because -win. <laughs> he is going to be Same opening enough. a bakery this summer. Yes, And they're going to yeah. need all kinds of people there. So right. you got to talk to Roy. He'll talk to you. I don't know nothing about money. Right, right. Worst scenario is you can get a hot dog. Right, that's right. Yes. He's got 24 different kind of yes, hot dog coverings and, and stuff. 24. 24, yeah, it's amazing. Here, give me yeah. your hot dog. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to, before I went, I was away. And um, All right, you talk for a minute. Before I went away, I have a little dog mm. who is now 17 years old. The love of my life. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a little dog. And um, I took No, that's to... not the little dog. <laughs> no, that's not the little dog. And uh, so I took him to a groomer. Mm. And um, I was just so impressed that I have to share it with you. Okay. And so her, uh, her name, it's Guida's Dog Grooming. 
in Dingman's Ferry, and um, she does what you know it's not like a mass production here it's one dog at a time um i can't tell you how wonderful she was with my dog you know 17 years old that's an old dog and uh it, you not know, as old as this dog <laughs> i hope you were pointing to yourself <laughs> <laughs> i was i am never that rude nana <laughs> So uh, anyway, I just wanted to uh, thank Jessica very much for um, doing a really great job on my dog. But there's so much entertainers in this area. Yeah, there are. Book them, hire them. Yeah. All over this whole country here. Uh, book them, give them a job, and then pay them. Right. That's, They'll all that's do a... charity jobs for you. Do like a bartering. This is what I usually do. If you want me to do it, nice charity thing for free mm -hmm. give me a couple paying gigs right and right. i'll i barter i'm i'm right. the barter man right. yeah but but you know that's how uh, really it you know it used to be you know if you needed work done uh, and you didn't have the cash you'd say all right well i got you know yeah oh yeah a dozen uh, eggs i can give you you know uh, that's that's how well, last year, yeah, I got to tell you, this will be our fourth year with the uh, food bank driving. We tripled the food bank last year. That's great. Partly yeah. thanks to you guys. Yeah. And all the people in the Port Jervis and Matamoros areas that brought over canned goods. And we had onions all over the place. Yeah, that was really And we had some great entertainers that came out and donated their time with me. Yes, they did. And we just had a blast over there. So you can listen to music or just... Yeah, because it's a it's a beautiful day. It's it's a um, really nice park. It's free. And we got to thank the, town, the city and John Faggione who helped us and said we could do it over there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's behind it 100%. He does a lot yeah. for this town of Port Jervis. Yeah. You know, so you know, any kind of fundraising is always a good thing, and it's um, so needed, really, in this day and age. We're gonna have a pirate on here one night. Oh. Oh, I got a pirate coming oh, on the wow. show. Keep uh -huh. watching. I can't. I don't know exactly when. Okay. But wait till you see him. I'm gonna sword fight him right out here <laughs> over these hot dogs. Uh, Not this ones, but uh, we're gonna have hot dogs, and we're gonna sword fight over the hot dogs. Well, I told you that I I um, am hoping that we're gonna have a stand up comic as well come onto the show. Yeah, somebody was telling me about it. Yeah, you know, yeah, stance. So, we've yeah. had, believe it or not, we've had a couple different ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was he's uh, really really good. So I'm hoping um, they don't like to drive at night. He is an older gentleman, but um, you know. Well, you know, a lot of people say just like the bars, play for free and you're getting exposure. But in reality, you are getting exposure here because you're going to be seen in the whole Hudson Valley, Sullivan County. Right. Also, YouTube, Facebook, uh, out in Manhattan on three channels in Brooklyn and here in Port Jervis. So right. this is real exposure if you got a band or you got music or you're looking to promote yourself and... Uh, you know, uh, Daryl Hay, who's my bass player, he's also a professor in the college for entertainment and stuff. Uh, he's doing a thing over at the uh, Baptist Church out by, uh, you'll buy um, Home Depot mm -hmm. on Route 300. Okay. Past the airport, and you go out 300, mm -hmm. and you go down the road on the left, uh, and they do plays over there. They are out of this world. I'll mm -hmm. get more information on it. And it, it's I, I'm not sure which one they're doing this time, but they're it's fantastic. So who do we have? All right, up now, now we got my nephew. This is we, some of these are videos we did a while ago, but I've had over 400 bands and stuff, so we thought we'd bring some more back. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. As we get through this crazy weather, because the bands don't want to come out too much in this weather. No. Now this is uh, my nephew Jay Wink. Okay. And uh, he's going to be uh, singing two songs. He wrote an acoustic uh, guitar. And uh, he's going to go on us. Are we ready? All right. All Jay right. Wink. We'll Jay be right Wink. back.
wish you just had been like this. Trusted so much that there's no one else but us and this moment that says it's alright. Cause that's all we have in this life. Drink up this love, baby. Give it all we got tonight. Give it all we got tonight. Summer honeysuckle leaking through a roll down window. We both. Seats laid back, anything can happen. So imagine it'll never end. Just close your eyes and you will see we are where we're meant to be. Baby, fall into my kiss. It should just happen like this. Trust it. So much that there's no one else but us and this moment that says it's so right Cause that's all we have in this life Drink up this love, baby, give it all we got tonight Give it all we got tonight From the Cumberland Gap to Johnson City, Tennessee, and I gotta get a move when I'm fit for the sun. Hear my baby call my name, and I know that she's the only one. If I 
Yay! That was excellent. Very good. His mother, when she has a couple uh, drinks, she can yodel. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. She's good at it. Wow. And she plays the piano really well, too. Which you, just, okay. you can't get her to play in front of anybody. But, <laughs> so they got the music sort of from all that. Right, and his right. grandmother played really well. And you said he taught himself how to do the, the guitar. The guitar, yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. And uh, it's really good. You know, so, and hopefully if anybody wants to come out to the telethon, we're going to have food here, and you come out and right. watch all the different acts. Mm -hmm. This is the spring karaoke uh, with some acoustic guitars and some karaoke singers. Uh, and we need money, so, like always, to get better and better equipment. And uh, right. this is really a community thing here. Uh, so come on down. You can watch the show. Get a bite to eat. And make a donation. Yeah, and and again, you know, if there's anybody out there that uh, plays an instrument or sings All right. or any kind of talent, and you, you know, you'd like to be on the show, uh, we're we're here, and it's Access Twenty Three TV, and in Port Jervis, and um, we'd love to have you. You know join us yeah we'd love right? to have anybody out there or yeah. if you got some kind of thing going on let us right. know yeah and uh, send us an email coral richards band at hotmail.com with your flyer if you got a fundraiser going we'll gladly put it up on our bulletin board mm -hmm. which runs all the time mm -hmm. right so that'd be good too yeah. but uh, we got the next song's going to be coming up this is one of my own songs which i wrote for some indians it's a trail of tears and it's a true story. Uh, and uh, the Indians really liked it. Uh, I had some Ojeda Indians down and they was listening to Crazy Horse, which people like. Then they heard this song, Trail of Tears, and they really mm. liked this song. This song I took and wrote it over somebody else's tracks who had another like a rock type band. Mm -hmm. Sounds a little like a Bon Jovi type song, but it's about the Indians who were uh, herded up like cattle and sent down by the Mississippi and the river was frozen they got rands of meat and everything else and mm. uh, it was just terrible wow really and that's based on a, on a true story it's a true story I read it in the on the computer about the Indians and mm. so I made a song out of it and wow. uh, it's just totally original the music was is original by Jay Breka my old drummer and mm -hmm. I wrote all the lyrics uh, so I hope you enjoy this. If there's any Native American Indians out there, uh, I'm writing a whole Indian album. Uh, I already am working on the next one, and it's called The Yellow Birch Trees. So you, you want to hear some more, we're going to do that. It's just finding time to do all this. Right. So here we go, all and right. this is called Trail of Tears, the Carl Richards Band. Yes. All right.
sitting on my pony Watching my people die No place to run No place to hide Why? was good whoever it was, he was. <laughs> not the brag that was excellent carl that really was good but that's a true story uh about how they treated him back in them days and they kept telling them they're going to give him everything and all that and they just got him all out of there because they wanted to put the train through there and right uh, and that's part of what custard thing was about the, he wanted to prove that they would setting the indians up saying there was gold in the black hills and there was no gold in the black hills mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so they just killed indians rampantly it was terrible that's it, it is terrible that is terrible now it, don't forget to stop the roys and cry over a big <laughs> hot dog down there i i've had so much clam chowder there i'm hooked on clam chowder i've had it all my life <laughs> And now I go there, and what else has he got? Hot dogs and clam oh, chowder. Forever. I was like, holy cow. Yeah, yeah, you're in heaven. Yeah. You're lucky. Ross Connor, Ross <laughs> Connor. Yeah, that's the commercial we did for Roy. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're really good people. And uh, I just hit it off with him. He's a hard-ass worker. He is a hard worker. Oh, uh, here comes a jet plane here, the yeah, motor. Yeah, yeah, there we go. It's like a bum Where helicopter. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? They're starting to? the engine for Weirdville. <laughs> oh, my Weirdville, God. Weirdville, USA. <laughs> <laughs> but come on down to the telethon. There's stuff going on all year yes, in Port Jervis. Uh, come see Port Jervis. There's a lot of new stuff going. It's growing. And uh, yes. they want you to come down and enjoy the yeah. river. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful and spot. And Matamoros, where I live in Matamoros. I lived in Port Jervis. I lived in Cuddybackville mm -hmm. doing construction work, playing in the band. And uh, I used to do a lot of stuff with Rick Drew, and God bless him. He loved marching bands and stuff, and unfortunately he passed away. But mm -hmm. uh, me and him became friends on the side, and we worked on music. And that's what he wanted, and I used to got him a lot of music. And he was a real good guy. But uh, what are you going to do? Yeah. No, so April 8th is the telethon. April 8th. It starts 8. at 2 o'clock, is it? No, 10 o'clock. I better be here. <laughs> it starts at 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. All right. No, there we it go. starts at 2. Come okay. on. We don't even know. I'm president, and I don't know a dang thing. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, Lois knows. It's She'll 2 sure to 7. It. 2 to 7, okay. And you'll see a lot of this telethon. You'll see a lot of Mr. Phil Jerry Lewis lookalike. Yes. Yes, he does, yeah. And when you see him in our new show, you're going to say, oh, Weirdville it is, oh, USA. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's going to be a lot of fun. Please, you know, make sure you catch. So now Weirdville we got a great rock and roll band they're going to be on doing a few songs for you that's been on the show and the name of them is asphalt green they're an excellent band and uh then we're coming back to us and shoot the breeze okay. they're going to be on right. do two or three songs so we can go take a wee wee break <laughs> well, i don't know what you're doing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bye. 
knocking upon my door. Rabies on my back with the silent thunder sound. Just before we were trying, lost the bloody ground. Make 
You walk towards the crowd, try to scream her name out loud. She cannot hear a sound. Say what he wants to hear just to keep from feeling fear. The truth is calm. Just a tragedy and shame. Song will take the brunt of the blame. La 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 la. Let it go, my sweet dream. Taking much too long for me. La 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 la. Let it go. Sport yeah. Green, yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, they're good rocking. Book them. These yeah. guys are around. They play some hard rock, rock and roll, anything you want to hear. Okay, yeah. You know, this, they were it's good. good. Yeah, they're a good rocking band. And uh, so I'm going to the casino soon with Benzie. I, I think I'm going with you. I do. Yeah. Even if my husband doesn't want to go, I think. Uh, well, I can, I'll tell him tonight so, if you really want to go. That, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, I do. You could follow me over because they meet at Walmart in Middletown. Okay. And uh, leave your car there and go on the bus. Okay. And All then right. you come back about six, seven o'clock, and you All right. go home. All right. Or we could carpool. Well, you know, or no. Flossie and her husband's going. Me and Lois. Oh, now are. three okay. could fit in the back if you want to. Don't mind that. <laughs> That's a little yeah. Maybe I will follow you. And, and well, if my husband goes anyway, then that kind of 
it's a fun so, time. So sometimes is, yeah. we have we have raffles on the bus. Sometimes we got a guy singing on the bus. It's a great time. Yeah, I, I'm I'm game. And it's a Sunday, right? Yeah, it is a Sunday. It's the ninth. The ninth. That's right. Because the telephone is the April eighth. <laughs> well, that's what I told the uh, Flossie and them. I'm so busy with all kinds of stuff. It's not. I don't have time to do anything. Right. You know, right. the wrestlers. I go see them, and I right. go see this, and I go do that. Right. And it's a. Uh, you know, we. And then this is my busy time trying to book the band. Right. You know? Well, now that the weather's breaking, you're going to be doing gigs and everything else. Yeah, we're going to be yeah. rolling soon. So. Yeah. Yeah. So it is. It's a busy time of the year for uh, for anything that uh, gets done outdoors and people start moving. Well, and... I went from the, all the younger guys are hungry. They do all the bar scene. Mm -hmm. I gave that up yeah. 10, 12 years ago, and I only do fairs and street fairs, barbecues, pig roast. Right. And I hope I'm going to Nashville this summer. Anybody out there with a Winnebago who'd like to take us, uh, we're going to Nashville, and hopefully we're going to play in the George Jones Museum because somebody yeah. likes a hillbilly out there. And all you fans out there, Hank Williams Jr. is going to be at Bethel Woods this year with uh, Leonard Skinner. Oh, wow. And I'm uh, going to hope to see that. It's probably on a day I'm booked, like always. Mm -hmm, but, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Wow, that'll be Because my uh, grandfather, who played with Tex Ritter and him, also did arrangements for Hank Williams Sr. Oh, really? Oh, no kidding. Oh, well, wow. I met Hank Williams Sr.'s daughter, Jet Williams. I booked her. Okay. Oh. At the Orange County Fair, I mean, Lois went backstage and everything. Uh -huh. They were nice people, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, you just do what you can do. Right, you right. Know? And now your uncle, he also played with well, he played Roy with, Rogers? He played with Roy Rogers, Tech Ritter, Gene Autry, Ray Whitley, and then the Felp brothers is who he started with. They was uh, brothers from down in, actually from Virginia. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. And uh, he played the banjo, and his name was separate from theirs. And uh, he also wrote the theme song for uh, Roy Rogers' first major movie, Jesse James at Bay, and he wrote that. Oh, really? Oh. And, uh, and what was your uncle's name? Ken Card. You can Google him. Ken Card. Wow. Musician. And uh, wow. he was in over 100 movies, the old singing cowboy movies. And they were the band that went to the Winter Garden and Texas Arena and back Tex Ritter and all them and made the music sound like a record. I, I just saw an old movie um, with a lot of the singers that you're talking about. I bet your uh, uncle was one of them. Well, right? if you, I, got, I just got one, a movie, and... Uh, the guy from the Yankees there, the one, Lou Gehry, was mm -hmm. in the movie that oh, my really? uncle's playing. Oh, no kidding. And oh, they wow. were the band backing him when he was singing. Oh, wow. wow. So it's like all you Yankee fans. Wow. And Babe Ruth was at my father's house. I was only maybe that big. And mm -hmm. he made him venison dinner, cooked venison steaks and stuff over in the Newark watershed when they lived over there in one of the houses. Oh, wow. And he was one of the head guards yeah. and rode horses all through the Newark watershed. Wow. And he used to bring the stars around the fishing places and stuff uh -huh. on the watershed. Oh, no kidding. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. So huh. there's a lot of avenues. <laughs> Did you hear, um, I believe it was on the news, there's this little boy who believes he is uh, reincarnated um, of Lou Gehrig that he was Lou Gehrig in another life. And it's it was very interesting. They're going to do a movie on him. And um, he is a lefty. You know, he bats lefty. And they were comparing his swing to Lou Gehrig's swing. And... I ain't been on a swing in years. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it was an interesting, uh, you know... Well, there's always somebody that can compare with somebody else if you right. watch sports. Right. Uh, and uh, Well, not only that, but, you know, I mean, who knows? Maybe he's related and doesn't well, even know it. I'm you know? a Patriots fan. Too bad. But uh, when, you, <laughs> when, <laughs> when you watch Tom Brady, you know, people who right. don't know this, Tom Brady idolized the 49ers quarterback. Oh, did he? Okay. And his style is so close to his. 
and uh, he won four uh, rings too. Uh -huh. I can't remember his name now. It's terrible. Right. But uh, yeah, and uh, Joe Montana, okay. and he he worshipped him and does his style. It's almost right. the same kind of game they play. Interesting, interesting, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, let's face it, we are influenced by other people, you know, and... Yeah, as you grow you up know, as a right. kid, like yeah, when I sing absolutely. out, a lot of people can hear my voice singing like somebody else right. and different people, right. but it took me years to get to the point where people, on, uh, I've been on so many radio shows and stuff that said, that's Carl on there, mm -hmm. and, and it took a long time. To get there, right, yeah. yeah to get your And I might soon to, you know. be on Joey Reynolds' new radio show, if anybody remembers him. He was on WOR Radio in mm -hmm. Manhattan, and he's got a new show. Oh, really? Oh, no kidding. Oh, so right. hopefully I'll get on there and uh, mm -hmm. do a thing. Mm -hmm. you know. Do a little singing and... Yeah, and plug and everything I can do yeah. and uh, yeah. keep on rolling. Right. So do yeah. we have any more um Well, to bands? take the show out, are we ready for that? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do a song that uh, this was recorded a uh, video down in the beautiful Riverview Inn and then them folks took good care of me down there and let me video a video of my me and the band and we brought 60 line dancers there who was supposed to just dance. They ended up partying. <laughs> it was great. We had a fun time. And the Shea That's family funny. always treated me good over there at the Riverview Inn. It's still a beautiful place, and they're great people. And this is Outlaws Like the Rock. Just watch me get on the motorcycle in the beginning. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> One, two, three, four! Everybody get your hands up!
Really? 